Cade and Sarah Anderson are graduates of BYU-Idaho and are currently living in Idaho Falls with their daughter, Ashley. What is it that brings the alumni back to Southeast Idaho? And what were their experiences while attending the university here? I had a great time. I loved every second of it. Met lots of great friends. In fact, um, my, some of my best friends are from college, not even from you know childhood or high school. But today, my best friends are my friends from college. My experience at BYU-Idaho was amazing. Um, I loved, loved every minute of it. Even the walking up the, the hills with the blizzard for your face. <laughs> and um, just being on the campus, being a part of the dance company was the, the biggest part of my experience at BYU-Idaho. While helping a friend move, Cade met Sarah where she was living at the Regent Villa back to get this box and then I just met Sarah and her roommates who had been there. I think I had big fluffy slippers on and <laughs> boxer shorts and a sweatshirt. But I, it was love at first sight for me. <laughs> and we were friends for mm -hmm. three years. After a few years of friendship, Kate and Sarah were finally married. Yeah, I graduated, we got married, uh, We were. and he had another Europe's yeah, good. I had two semesters left of, to, before I graduated from BYU-Idaho when we got married. Um, we got married in Salt Lake, and so it was, it was kind of rushed, but, but we wanted to get married, and it was the right time. And my aunt went to go get my shoes for me, because you know, I had to have my shoes. I can't wear black shoes with wedding dress, and she ended up um, getting rear-ended on her way to get my shoes. I feel so bad about that, but she got them for me. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, it was it was a chaotic experience, but it was well worth it, and it was beautiful. After graduating from BYU-Idaho, the Andersons moved to Southern California, where Kate attended Chapman University, striving to become a physical therapist. The transition, career choice, and other events proved to be more of a trial than expected. We were still quite newlyweds, you know, a year into marriage when we had our daughter, and it was difficult to transition from BYU-Idaho to you know, the crazy hustle bustle of Los Angeles. And having a baby. And having a baby. And no family. <laughs> um, and not having any money, you know. When you don't love what you're doing, and you don't love what you're studying, and you're spending thousands of dollars to do it, and you, you just aren't enjoying it, it's difficult, and it makes it depressing. Difficulties continued even no, after leaving California. Sarah developed a condition that would become the new center stage for their trials. Couldn't hold my child. I couldn't do my own hair. I couldn't, and I couldn't dance, and I couldn't do normal everyday things. It was enough that I couldn't dance, but I couldn't, I wasn't cap I was, I couldn't turn doorknobs or anything. And then I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. While Sarah is still receiving treatment to this day, Cade graduated from Rocky Mountain College as a certified physician's assistant. The greatest blessings that I've seen are being happy. We have a, a safe a place. I have a job. <laughs> you know, the economic times are kind of hard these days, but I have a, a solid job. Um, we have a roof over our head. We have food in the pantries. It just strengthens us. Yeah, you know, when you get you. a blow and you feel like you've been weakened, it, it's you can choose what you're going to do with that um, trial, and it could make or break you. This is Andrew Murdoch reporting for Scroll Digital.